Liberal Viewer presents. So, as several of the videos on my Fox News Bias playlist have shown over the years, you can often get one of the main dishonesty sound bites at the heart of a Fox News story out of just the 10 second teaser for the upcoming story, and that was definitely the case when Fox and Friends host Clayton Morris framed an amendment to the anti discrimination law in Madison, Wisconsin, as giving atheists special rights in this teaser. Well, do atheists deserve extra protection under the law due to their controversial beliefs? Details on the trend that could be coming to a city near you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. This is going to be a story about atheists getting extra protection under the law due to their controversial beliefs, however far from the truth that may be. And you can see Fox and Friends host and recovering bow tie addict Tucker Carlson reiterate that first false premise about new extra protections in the introduction to the segment here. An historic and controversial move coming out of Madison, Wisconsin, an historic and controversial city. That city is now the first in the country to pass legislation listing atheism as an officially protected class. Hmm, now, while it's technically true that atheism has been added to the same protected class that includes those with religious beliefs in that Madison City Ordinance I'll show a little later, it's somewhat disingenuous to frame it as a new protection when atheists are already covered by federal anti-discrimination laws that cover religious belief like Title VII, but that fact never came up even when Fox News brought on a lawyer, albeit a right-wing lawyer ironically named J. Christian Adams, who was prompted by Fox & Friends host Anna Coyman's totally unbiased question that introduced another false premise of the segment that it's all about hostility towards Christians, beginning with her question, so where does this hostility come from in the first place towards Christians? <laughs> I kid you not, in this clip. So where does this hostility come from in the first place toward Christians? Well, this ordinance was driven by the Freedom From Religion Foundation. It's a group of angry atheists. They have a very uh, a large and powerful group of supporters. Uh, and they hector yes. governments to pass anti-Christian, anti-religious ordinances. They team up with government. For example, they were behind the IRS getting the IRS to target and monitor sermons and homilies by Christian pastors just within the last year. Of course, just within the last year, I made a video debunking that exact claim that you can see by clicking here. But back to debunking this anti-atheist attack. The end of that answer from J. Christian Adams was supplemented by Fox and Friends host Tucker Carlson here. So this is a group that's filled with hostility toward people of faith. Right, so it's never just about tolerating their views, it's about attacking other people's views. Madison City Council Member Anita Weir was one of the voices behind this, and here's her explanation. She said, this is important because I believe it's only fair that if we protect religion in all its varieties, we should also protect non-religion from discrimination. It's only fair. That does, in some sense, seem fair, but that's not exactly their aim, is it? Of course, that is exactly what the Madison City Council did. They made their ordinance exactly fair, if you look at the text, because every place the word religion appears, this amendment just added in the word atheism with the appropriate conjunction, giving atheists exactly the same protection from discrimination in employment and housing that prevents people from being fired or evicted based on their religious beliefs. But again, that question from Fox & Friends host Tucker Carlson was a softball to the right-wing lawyer J. Christian Adams to claim that this exactly fair language somehow doesn't work out exactly fair, which Adams answered in this clip. No, it never works out that way. Not only does it bring lawsuits, but don't forget, this is a local ordinance, Tucker, and that means that a whole body of bureaucrats will spring up that will be tasked with hectoring people of faith, badgering uh, in Wisconsin people of faith who uh, might not want to hire somebody. You know, there's a lot of reasons why Christians or Jews might not want to hire an atheist. In fact, it's in the New Testament. It, it says things such as uh, avoid them, disassociate with them in Romans, Thessalonians, Corinthians. You might have a job, for example, where you want someone who believes in a higher power. For example, maybe you're running an airline and hiring pilots who you prefer they maybe believe in hell. I mean, I know that sounds extreme, but that shows you why religion is so important to so many people. And, and to tell people you can't hire people of faith, uh, or, or only people of faith, intrudes on their free exercise of faith. <laughs> 
So after starting that answer as a claim that Christians are being victimized, the Fox and Friends guest actually ended with the very bold claim that he should be able to fire or evict people for being atheists, but of course none of the Fox News hosts challenged that assertion, with Fox and Friends host Anna Coyman instead lobbing another softball to J. Christian Adams about the danger of this horrible law spreading here. Well, the Freedom From Religion Foundation is trying to make this a trend across the country. They're encouraging other cities to, to pass similar legislation. They say this, we encourage free thought activists, including the increasing number of local public officials who are atheists or agnostics, to work to introduce and replicate this protection at their city, county, or even state levels. You think that's going to happen? Yes, I do, because these people are so committed to their own version of theology. They have such hatred of Christians and Jews and publicly exercising their faith. This is a story as old as time. This weekend, guys, is a story of escaping and overcoming this kind of hatred. Christians and Jews have been putting up with this for thousands of years, people who don't like that they believe. So we're pretty much used to it by now. But once again, it always seems to find new ways to attack and, and, and destroy and erode at the free exercise of religion. Wow, that's pretty twisted, especially since this new segment originally aired the weekend of Passover and Easter, so he's comparing not being able to fire or evict atheists with being slaves in Egypt or being crucified, I guess, but for the big finale, our friends at Fox can't resist throwing in a dig at big government and a nod to their America is a Christian nation myth in this clip. Well, and there's, of course, a political element here. I mean, if there's no God, then the highest authority is government. Yeah. Well, that's, of course, right, Tucker. And that's why this country was founded on exactly the opposite principle, exactly the opposite principle that men have individual dignity, women have individual dignity because they're, they're created in the image of God. And that's what these people can't stand, is we live in a country that it respects and treasures religious belief. Jay, Christian Adams, thank you so much for being on fire with your faith this morning. Thanks. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Christian. And thanks, Tucker and Anna, too, for showing us all the depths of dishonesty to which the Fox News morning show Fox and Friends will sink to twist a government founded on a document that prohibits establishment of religion into one founded on religion, or twisting an ordinance that prohibits discrimination against atheists and the religious alike as somehow an attack on Christians and Jews. But I want to know what you think. Could Fox News have crammed in any more conservative cliches than it did when spinning this anti-discrimination law as an un-American, big government special right focused on hatred of Christians and Jews? And on that bold assertion from right-wing lawyer J. Christian Adams? Should airlines really want to hire only pilots that believe in heaven and hell, and should businesses otherwise be allowed to not hire atheists? I, YouTube, you decide.